This is Calvin Castein. We're at Clinton Community College. It's September 8th, 1997. We're here for Junior College Ladies Soccer featuring the home team, the Cougars from Clinton and the Bobcats from Paul Smith are the visitors. Home team, of course, in white. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the players and we'll concentrate our mind and body on the game at hand. For Paul Smiths, Lee, uh, Casey Moore had the ball. That was number 13. See, Lisa, Lisa Ritter is zero, so she might be the goalie. Casey Moore is 13. Darlene Silva is 19. Keisha Adams is 15. Melissa Lyons, 10. Angie Dustin is 24. Anna Fisk, 17. Amy Muller, 20. Suni Kirkley is 21. Carrie Burns, 23, Rebecca Lamphere, 6, Alice Powell, 18, Sarah Dubois, 14, and Karen Lofener is uh, listed here without a number. For the Cougars, 7 is actually number 7 is Nicole Nolette. I want to say the Name first and the number. Nicole Nolette is number seven. Jamie Wilson from Shay Z is number nine. Sabrina Adams is a goalie. Lisa Kazava is number 13. And Blair from Saranac is 15. Sarah West from Shay Z, 17. Christy Marat from Marata is number 19. Sarah Smith, 21. Tara Agony from Beacontown, 25. Casey Dermody from Peru is 29. As is Jill Hartman from Peru. She's number 37. Amanda Brusso, let's see, I think she's from. Uh, Peru Central also. She's number 43. Leela Mazarovsky is 45. And Diana Carter is 51. Coach is Karen Sherman. And the assistant coach is a former member of the Cougars here at Clinton. And she's also a former Bobcat, but not a Paul Smith's Bobcat. She's a former Northern Adirondack Bobcat. Only hint I'll give you is her nickname, Psycho. And if you don't know that Sarah LaBear, then and I guess uh, you don't know who she is because everybody knows Sarah LaBear as Psycho. Scott Height here from the Press Republican. He's another former Cougar. He's here taking pictures. For the press. This is Blair. She'll throw it in. Not as many players from the Northern Tier as there usually are in this Cougar team. To our disappointment. Of course, a lot of kids, and I'm going to call them kids, although this is women's soccer. Get as old as I am, these are kids. A lot of kids uh, come here and have to work in their off hours to support uh, our day to day living, and pay for a car, insurance, a hamburger burger now and then. So uh, it's a luxury when you're able to play college sports. I certainly encourage everyone who can to do so, particularly here at Clinton. We have green throwing. 45 minute halves. There's a shot, and it's right on net. Sun is, of course, to the west, which is behind us. So, but that particular angle, if you'll look at my shadow here, so the sun's coming right down in this direction, so anything from here toward the goal is going to be a little bit of a sun problem for the goalie until the sun gets a little lower and the trees help her out. 
corner kick for the Bobcats. Beautiful day, type of day you'd like to bottle up and use a little bit here and there when it gets to be January and February. Pull out an hour or so of this day at, at your leisure would be great, 70 degrees or so. As you can see from that flag, the wind is relatively calm, just a slight breeze. Very, very pleasant day. Headed in the wrong direction. Another corner kick. This time is headed out. Well. Another Paul Smith throw in. There's a shot. Just misses. Uh, the Lady Cougars and Bobcats are battling here. The Cougar men are visiting uh, Paul Smith. So it's Cougar Bobcat Day here in the North Country. And of course, the, the men's team, uh, the goalie, uh, hopefully, again, hopefully the goalie for Paul Smith, I guess I'll know more tomorrow when I read the paper, is uh, Shane Dutill from Northeastern Clinton. Shane is there, he's on the team, but uh, wasn't sure if he'd be the starting goalie or or exactly he'd be playing so haven't uh, talked to his family since school began green throwing Mazarowski trying to clear it. Paul Smith dominating the play so far, keeping the ball down at the Cougar end. West takes it out of bounds. Green throw in. Throw it in. West point. Paul Smith looking for the shot. Here it comes. Oh, nice. Defense there by Kazava. Green throw in. We're about 11 minutes into the game and we're scoreless. Paul Smith and Clinton. Bobcats have a corner kick. It's up. A nice, nice kick. Nice try. No let, I believe. Let's see, is that number seven? Yep, that's uh, no let clearing it. Let brings it up. Kicked back by the Bobcats. Here's the cross. 
cleared. It's out again. Green throw in. This is Casey Moore throwing it in. Corner kick. Just missed. Bobcats continuing to pressure the Cougars. It's in. And it's a 1 0 lead for Paul Smiths. Dermody and West kick off for the Cougars. They're trailing now 1 0. About a quarter of the way through the first half. Pay no attention to that white out. White throwing. Coach Sherman. Often suggestions on the sideline. Pass goes through. Should have put a little boot on it. Tried to play with it instead. He kicked that ahead. Uh, would have been a big opportunity there for Paul Smith. I believe it was Anna Fisk who got that goal for the Bobcats. Clinton throwing. Referees today have Pete Jakes over on this side, and on the far side it's Dave Lee. That was Kazavar clearing it out. Oh, nice bicycle kick. Gonna stay in for a while at least. Oh, it's a green throw. West passes through. But the goalie will be the first one there. Blair. with a shot. Nice move. Ball's still alive. Here's a shot. And it's alive in front. comes. It's off the Cougars. It's a 2 nothing lead for Paul Smith. I believe that's Andrew Dustin scoring for the Bobcats. 2 nothing lead. Uh, let's see what time it is here. I'd say Probably about 18 minutes into the game. Been too close, probably picked up her back foot, what the legal throw was called for. 
didn't get it on camera. Blair is rolling into the corner. Adams will get there first. So we'll throw it. Oh, Blair would have thrown. Blair again. with a shot. Cougar throwing to Wilson in the corner. Stopped by Adams and that was Kazava helping out. All right, we'll take the goal kick. Pick up a 
pushing off. Good Lord, nailed it. No, 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 one of you, one of you. Get rid of that. Another shot. Ouch. Adams is down. Adams will stay in. We're going to have a drop ball. Green throwing. Take one up. Now throw in for the Bobcats. Whoops. Bobcats continually beating the Cougars to the ball. There should be another one. There it is. And I'll make it a 3 nothing lead for Paul Smith's. Well, Lions makes it 3 nothing for the Bobcats. Cross it. Hartman will throw it in. Go for the net, go for the net. Sides. No, that will do the honors. Lay him up. Greensville. Adams punts it looking for Hartman. Uh, the throw in. Wilson passes ahead. Punt. 
Ship it, ship it. Pick her up, pick her up, pick her up. Pass is through. And Adams will make the stop. Greenfield. Neither team with uh, much for numbers here. There. No handball. Not seeing a lot of substituting because neither team has much for, for subs. They're just about enough to play the game. Goal kick. Just about 10 minutes or so left here in the first half. Dermody back on for the bat for the uh, Cougars. That goal kick doesn't get any further than the 18. It's going to go wide. Player down for Paul Smith. All right, action is continuing. Uh, didn't get a number on the injured player, but she went off under her own power, more or less. I think uh, Paul Smith has just one player on the bench, so right now, if she's done for the game, and it could be, she had a knee brace on, looked like she took the knee brace off. She should be done. Uh, that would uh, mean there's no bench. Blair will take this goal kick. Deflected right to Adams. Go, 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 go. Go, go, charge it. Green's rolling. Uh, Hartman will throw it in. Wilson. Paul Smith's throw. Hartman knocks it off the, the Bobcats up the corner for West. Rowan. And it's in, yes. That's a 3 1 score. Cougars are on the scoreboard. I'm going to guess that that was Murata who got the goal for the Cougars. Adams. Pick it up. Pick it up. There you go. Good chip. Wilson pushes it, it ahead. Run it in, run it in, run it in. Oh, break it up, break it up. 
Southwest trying to catch up with it. 3 1 the score. Pick her up, pick her up, push her out, push her out, push her out. You know what? With a nice move. Oh, corner kick. Blair, looking for Hartman. From the corner. through. Good opportunity here for the Cougars. West from the side and she pushed off the ball. Ball stays in play. Nope, that went out. It's going to be a corner kick. Fourteen's off. She's fourteen's off. Up. Good Lord. Blair. Green throw. Just as the goal kick is about to take place, we have a horn, or the sub horn. Sub is supposed to be there before the ball goes out, so it's a little too late. Well, we've been playing for 51 minutes, as 45 minutes has, but with four goals and a couple of injuries. Blair. Yeah. And West. Yeah. The punt. <laughs> Out. Blair will throw it in. Green throw. Wilson. Wilson. Pushes it ahead. The West. West puts it on net.
white throw. That was agony throwing it in. Five yard line. Stayed in. Not to be in the closing minute or two of this first half. Another shot high. Less than 30 seconds. Even with the injuries, this has been a long first half. Started at 4.06 and it's 5.02 right now, so I don't know if it's running a little bit over what it should. Adams sets it for Blair, and that's it. First half ends with Paul Smith leading Clinton Community College by a 3-1 margin. All right, uh, second half underway at 5.13. West. I noticed uh, Smith out there, 21 from uh, Shazy. Uh, I don't know if I've just overlooked her or if I haven't noticed her. I'll have to pay more attention here in the second half. 3 1, Paul Smith's. Leading. Yeah. And kicked out by Hartman. Green throwing. Shot, pulled it too much. Kind of yanked it. White throw. Let's see, 25, that's agony. No, that will take this. To the box and handled by the goalie. Blair with a throw in. No handball. On the Bobcats. There's Smith on defense. Ooh, goal for Paul Smith. It's four to one. Casey Moore makes it four to one. Looks like an uh, injured player for Paul Smith might be back in the game. 
So they're back at full strength with one sub. Green throwing. Shot there by uh, Murata. Green throwing. Green throw. Throw it in. On the left, gets it to Smith. It's the side of the goalpost. Goal kick by Blair. The shot. There's your net over there. Don't be confused by that practice net to the sign of it. Look like. Mazarowski was going to kick it in for the opponents, but she was actually clearing it. There's a corner kick. Last 
through Wilson. And cleared by the goal midfield. Hustle got that one for Paul Smith. It's 5-1. That was Andrew Dustin for Paul Smith to give them a 5-1 lead. Let's see where we are in the time here. It's 5-25. Uh, probably only about 12 minutes into the second half. They want another one. Getting greedy here. Adams. White throw. Dermody. Stays in, nice move. And get by Nolette. Blair with the goal kick. Now what? That's at the midfield. Everybody will throw it in. Throwing. out by Murata, the goal kick. Murata was a 
back, not too high. Headed by Smith. against Murata. Green kick. Adams takes it to West to uh, Smith. Green throwing. Dr. Rowan back because brought the uh, brought the sun along the game. This is Wilson. He crosses for the goalie. Beautiful try. Do that a couple times and you're going to get at least a goal or more. Cats bring it back. All right to Sabrina Adams. Makes a stop. Adams from Hogansburg. Hustle there by Leela Mazarovsky. And Kazaba.
Now, Agony is down. We got 51 in the game. Let's see, that's Diana Carter. Carter working hard in the corner. Offsides. Blair with the goal kick with the uh, free kick. Up to Agony. Green throw. About halfway through the second half, 5 1, Paul Smiths. Player down for the Bobcats. Slow to get up. And. So stay in. Adams will take the punt. Clear down for the Cougars. She'll be back up. Shot. Adams. Wilson keeps it in. Nice play. As Rorofsky will throw it in. And finally have the whistle. Go comes to Smith. Back to Mazarovsky. Up front line to Will Wilson. Taken away by the Bobcats. Now what? Nice move. That'll be green throw. White throw. Bobcat throwing. Cleared out by Kazava. Green throwing. Wilson. Uh, comes right to 
Adams. Zorowski. Off Murata, big green throw. Murata's there again. All comes to agony. Dermody down, she's back on her feet. Push through for Wilson. Wilson will get the shot. And stopped by the keeper. The shot for Paul Smiths. Nice shot. All right, two Adams. Throw it in. Smith. Murata working hard. Let the Bobcats bring it back. Adams. Mazarovsky. White throwing. Uh, agony.
olsun. When the Cougars get to the front line, they're usually outnumbered by Paul Smith. Green throwing. Kick. Kicked out by Murata. We're hearing six minutes to go. Ball goes against the Bobcats. Murata kicks it. Blair. Green throwing. Trying to clear it. Oh, Murata will kick it. And stopped by Adams. Player down for the Cougars. like an ankle or a foot. And Agony goes off in pain. And Murata will kick off for the Cougars. Goal kick. By Murata. Front. Shoot. Oh, 
Oi, que é Adams. Have to be in the closing minutes here, closing moments of this game. Paul Smith. Uh, are the victors 5-1 over Clinton and that's the way it was. September 8, 1997 we've been at Clinton Community College in beautiful downtown Plattsburgh.